Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out the sister product for these two, which is these two. So I've got the new Conceal and Hydrate from Revolution and con uh, the concealer and the foundation. Um, which is the sister product to the Conceal and Define. Now, first thing I'm going to say is that this foundation is probably going to be too dark, uh, too light for me. Because I tried this one on the other day and it was way too light. I did not expect it to go so bright. So, I am filming this quite late in the day. It is 20 past 5. Um, so, I'm not going to get like an all day wear out of it. But we will see how long it lasts. First thing I notice, we're going to start with concealer, is that the bottles are different sizes. This one's slightly fatter and very much shorter. This one's a slightly, sling, a sl 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 slightly slimmer and taller. Um, I've got them in the same shades. So let's get cracking with the concealer. Apart from um the size the bottles aren't very different i mean the label's rose gold in this one and this one's white doe foot is pretty much the same actually i think this doe foot might be a bit bigger yeah so the doe foot for the new concealer is bigger than the old doe foot and i i mean they're the same length but this one's fatter I'm going to use a sponge for my concealer because that's what I normally do. And then I'll use one, a sponge for one half of my face and a brush for the other for my foundation. So the concealer blended out pretty well, um, as you expect from a Revolution concealer. Um, it don't make me look as pale as the last one did, so I'll probably say there is a slight difference in shades. I mean, if you look at the bottles, because it's different formulas, you can it's bound to be a different shade on some level. With this one, they are the same, like they're the same size, but the lid is huge on this one, on the new one. Didn't even look at how much is in there. So the new one is 13 grams, and the old one is 14 grams. No. No. The new one is 13 grams, and the old one was 4 grams? What? Okay, yeah. So, 13 grams in this one, and 4 grams in that one. That's a big difference, for the same price. And with this one, we got 23 mils. 23 mils, so these are the same size. Apologies, my window's open, so you can see everything, I hear everything walking by. It's a pump! I was expecting a doe foot. I tried to twist it and it came off and I saw black and I thought, really, it's broke on me and I've just opened it. But it's a pump, not a doe foot. That's um, interesting. I mean, I prefer it not being on a doe foot because I have issues with uh, the hygiene of doe foots. I struggle with concealer that way, but let's try this then. Just put a bit on my finger oh it's a bit runny smells quite nice oh no worst thing about having long nails worst thing ever so i'm gonna do a brush on this side do you know what that ain't quite as bad as the other one that actually matches me quite well so I definitely say there's something different in the shading between the two. I'll have a look in a second. 
I mean, I know the different products. I'm not doing a dupe video. I just did the hole on my forehead, didn't I? Yeah, so I know it's not a dupe video, so you, i got to expect them to be different. But when they're done by the same brand, sometimes you would expect... Oh, I hate doing it with a sponge. You guys can experiment yourself with sponges. I prefer my brush. So I definitely say I'm a bit more glowy, um, not so matte, but it is really lightweight. So these are the new ones on this side, and those are the old ones. So I think the new ones are a bit more yellowy toned, which is weird because I'm very pink toned, but I've tanned, so whatever. Um, I need a powder because my face feels funny. But yeah, that's the difference. So that's the new and that's the old. I'm saying new and old. That's the conceal and define and that's the conceal and hydrate. I definitely feel hydrated. So I'm just going to go in and do my normal makeup. And I will catch you after. Okay, so I haven't put much makeup on because it's practically my bedtime. It's now half past five. Yeah, it's practically my bedtime now. So as I was doing my eyebrows and I had to get really close to my face. I don't know if this camera's going to pick it up. I don't seem to be in focus. Okay, that's better. Um, so as you can see, it's already started sinking into my smile lines um there i feel like it's highlighted the fact that i've got a couple spots there i wouldn't say it it's definitely a medium to full coverage like you can still see my freckles but i'm thinking maybe that's down to the fact i didn't put a lot on but like it makes my nose look really nasty oh ice cream man ice cream man Yeah, so I'll leave this on until I go to bed and I'll check in probably once or twice. Um, so you guys can get a feel of how it's developing. I mean... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really like the look. It gives my face. I mean, from a distance, I look fine. But up close, my skin don't look the nicest. That sucks. A set of socks. Lots and lots and lots. Hi guys. So I'm just filming this before I go to sleep. Um, it's now what's the time? It's now ten to eleven. So this foundation has been on five and a half hours, and I'm not that impressed. Let's be real, like. So, it's gone all weird. I don't like the way it's made my skin look. Um, I hate the way it's gone on my nose. This bit here is still very prominent. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. I think my problem is, is I'm just not keen on any kind of liquidy foundations at the moment. I don't know if it's because my skin is quite, I wouldn't say it's dry, but it's not, not dry if that makes sense. Um, and I primed beforehand, I just, yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me what you think. It's like it's gone patchy on my nose. Meh. Not my favourite foundation in the world. But do you know what? I would wear it again. Um, maybe more in winter, because I got quite a sweat on earlier, and I think don't think that's helped. I mean, I'm not shiny, um, which is a nice thing. But yeah, maybe in the winter this might be a nice foundation, especially when my skin does dry out a bit more. Um, yeah, let me know your 
Let me know your opinion. Man, I like fell asleep on the sofa downstairs like five minutes ago. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gone. Um, let me know your opinion and I will see you all. Now, as we would say, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, as Booby would say. And bless her, she means subscribe. Um, and I will catch you all later. Bye.